Okay, I want to talk to you a little bit about my new build, which is a Horus Drone Slipstream th Slipstream 3. Yes, you are a good doglet. It is, uh, like all my builds, it takes me a little bit of time. I don't know why it takes me longer to build than most people take a building but um i'm pretty excited about this one it weighed in at 170 grams on the bench um i'm doing this on the fly and with a camera that doesn't have autofocus it's my dslr canon 6d so i am focusing as i go and it's gonna have to do it's a slipstream 3 by horace drones the bottom plate is interesting because it's a three inch frame but it is four millimeters thick so it's super stiff because it's pretty minimalistic, still kind of light, even though the plate could be lighter with a three millimeter plate. But I was pretty excited about the four millimeter one and try it out. Um, the Run Cam Swift 2 is the camera of choice. And the reason for it is because I don't have an OSD and I figured, you know what, this camera has an OSD. So let's use this uh, to get voltage. Another reason is I'm using an XM receiver free sky in there let's see if we can see it it's behind the camera in there and that thing doesn't have telemetry so I figured you know what instead of guessing I'm at least gonna put an OSD in it and that is going to be the run cam 2 the run cam swift 2 uh, other things it has an X racer f303 the latest version 3.1 they discontinued that flight controller when the beta flight f3 came out but it's still an awesome flight controller. I had one new one lying around, so I figured to use it. Uh, I ordered a DYS 4-in-1 BL Heli S D-Shot um, ESC, which I have another video for it. And the reason I chose that one is because I originally was gonna use a Cicada uh, 28, which I think is an awesome uh, ESC, but no matter what I tried, I could not fit um, a way to power the um, flight controller which needs 5 volt and on top of that I wanted to use a TBS um, Unify 5 volt which is the V2 um, because the high volt one would not fit in the craft so I was like I need to figure out a solution for this so I ended up selling the Cicada and got the DYS because of the BEC it has a 3 amp BEC for 5 volt and uh, something else for 12 volt to power the camera so i was like let me go for that i haven't tested it yet this thing hasn't flown yet but it will soon let's see what else we got going on here um the stack is about 40 millimeters high um and i used a waffle tpu waffle um mount for the fc in order to make it springy so it's like um isolated and another reason is because it's this is a structural stack I'm not too fan of putting FCs in a structural stack, so I was like, let me try this solution. Unfortunately, I have a little bit of a problem with one of the wires. It's pressing hard on the waffle. It's making the FC not be completely, completely flat. But I could fix that by rerouting the wire up over the top, so I might do that tonight. But overall, it shouldn't be a problem for flight. It's just that I'm very picky. Um, let's see, it's got uh, Brother Hobby. 1407 3600 kV motors. These are super popular right now. And for props, I have the, uh, you know what? I don't remember what these are. These are the Rotor, oh yeah, Rotor X 3040R. They're very popular props. They're very expensive though. But I have a couple others from DYS and a Q to replace them because I'm not going to be breaking these at a dollar a piece. Screw that. Um, I decided to go with this whip antenna mainly because I got it in a receiver I bought recently. I thought, you know what, it's light, um, so it should be good. I'll see. I'll, I've had never used one of these, so let's see how it checks out when I'm actually flying it. Um, there's a reason I went with a 600 milliwatt receiver, I mean transmitter for the video, and that's because I intend to fly this solo a lot in there actually. So, um, and, you know, I want, I want the cutting power, but because I want with the TBS um, Unify, I can actually dro uh, drop down the output to like 200 for racing, which I intend to do with the folks out here in San Diego as well. 
and that's uh, pretty much it. I'm pretty excited to try this one out. Um, I have another three inch build coming and the reason for this, again, this forest. Um, so yeah, we'll see how, how it flies and uh, eventually I'll have a video up hopefully for um, it in flight footage.